Hey, it's Steven again. So this is a tutorial video again for the Front Desk HQ software. In this, uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to go into your account and then sign the waiver that we have on, on there for you so that you can um, release us of any liability if you die or anything. Um, uh, and it, it, We already have one signed for you guys already in your files, but we'd like to have an electronic version. Um, that way we don't have to be chasing papers around and things like that. Um, this is just one of those house cleaning things, um, house, or housekeeping things we have to do um, to, to make sure that the business is covered from a liability standard. Um, so I'm going to actually go down to uh, where I bookmarked, um, where I bookmarked my profile here that I created in the last video. Um, and that's going to take me to the site. Might take a minute to load, so it's going to take me in here. Um, and it, the first thing you're going to notice here at the top is it'll say important notices. And the first one it actually says is complete a waiver before your next visit. So that's what I want each one of you guys to do. Um, so complete the waiver. You'll click on that link. Might take a second to load. It's going to take you to a, a secondary site called DocuSign and this is the, the software that's used to actually sign the document electronically. Um, it'll bring you back to the, the front desk HQ sign after you do this. So you want to click on I agree to use electronic records and signatures. If you don't agree, like you don't want to do this electronically, that's fine. We can still, we, we have a copy in person. You just tell me you don't feel comfortable. Um, but click on I agree and then hit continue. Um, it's going to ask you, do you want this? Do you let you use your current, your current location? Um, I don't care if, if you do or not. You can hit allow, don't allow, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'm just going to hit allow. It depends on the, um, the browser you're using. Um, so you can click on these yellow tabs next and that'll take you to where you need to go. But you can read the document here, the waiver document, as you go if you want. Um, you click next. It's going to ask you to sign. You'll click sign. Oh, whoops, click on that box instead of the tab. Um, it's going to put. It's going to automatically fill in your name for you. It'll say your name and then your initials. You'll hit adopt and sign. Oops, sorry. Adopt and sign, and then it's going to paste your signature in there on the document, um, as well as the date in which you're signing it on. And then you'll hit finish. And you can do this on a mobile phone. You can do this on a desktop. It doesn't matter. It's gonna just the it, only thing that'll change on the mobile phone is the screen will just look more compact. It's still doable. Uh, so then that that it'll take you back to your profile on the front desk. That it'll say adult waiver has been signed. You've successfully signed the waiver. It'll go in a, your file with us, um, and they'll, it'll send you it'll the the front desk will also send you a notification to your email that says hey. You, finish, you sign this document. If you want to review the document, click here. Um, that's it. That's all you have to do on this on this uh, part of it. Um, so that's this is what this is the video you used to figure out how to sign documents, how to sign your waivers. Um, and if you have any questions, always feel free to just get at us in person or or or, uh, or virtually.